Greetings fellow nerds. In this video I will share how I made my Night King magic wand. To start I took an oak branch that I just collected out in my neighborhood and I whittled the tip with a box cutter. Um, I've since switched to using actual whittling knives from a box cutter which I think is safer and a lot more effective. Once I had the tip into the shape I wanted, I went ahead and sanded it off with some sandpaper. Um, I want it to be pointy, but not so pointy that you can impale yourself with it. And while I was at it, I sanded a few rough spots on the rest of the branch as well. Now I'm taking some wire. This is 20 gauge wire, pretty heavy, uh, but I like things to be sturdy. So I sacrifice flexibility for the sake of it being a bit of a stronger gauge wire. I'm using a piece of quartz to mount on the end of the wand, uh, the non-pointy end, as what I call a finial. Now I'm taking thermoplastic and adhering all of the wire um, to the wood underneath. Um, in this case, I used black thermoplastic. Sometimes I also use clear. It just depends on the color scheme of the project I'm working on at the moment. I didn't want any of this wire to show in the final project, so I'm covering all of it up in thermoplastic. the wire going up the side of the quartz to the top. That's just because of where the pre-drilled hole was in the piece of quartz. So I'm covering up the wire on the side of the stone. Next, I worked my way down around the branch, covering most of it with thermoplastic, but there were some interesting knots in the wood that I wanted to show through like little windows. So you'll see me leaving those open. Just continuing that all the way down the length of the branch.
down at the end there was this big interesting opening in the wood and I left that where it was so that it could be seen through the thermoplastic because I thought it looked neat. I'm not very good at always keeping the project in sight of the camera yet. Now I'm taking another piece of wire and adding pieces of quartz and a little bead that looks like a skull and a little charm that looked like a, I don't know what it looked like, it's a little pointy thing. And mounting these around the, um, around the wand to give it a little more interest. Here's the little skull. I'm not sure what those skulls are made out of. And I had a little piece of red quartz here. I just wanted a tiny pop of color. So this wand is overwhelmingly black and white and sort of gray, frosty tones. I wind the wire around the handle and just keep adding ornaments as I wind my way down. And again, I don't want this wire to show. So at this point, I'm covering all of it up with more thermoplastic. And the other thing I'm doing at this point is anchoring all these ornaments carefully onto the wand. Um, I like my pieces to be very sturdy. I don't ever want anything to wiggle or fall off. Um, so everything is secured very carefully. And at this point, I'm just making sure all of the crystals are deeply embedded into the thermoplastic. Also, trying not to glue myself to my project is always a challenge. Now I'm taking the heated nozzle of the um, gun and using it to texture all of the thermoplastic. So I'm not pulling the trigger, I'm not dispensing any more material onto the piece. I'm just using that hot edge to make a bark-like 
texture and it's difficult to see at this stage because it's all very black but when I start dry brushing it later uh, you'll be able to see that texture uh, a bit better so everywhere I have thermoplastic I'm just rubbing the nozzle on it at this point to texture the whole piece all the way down. You can start to see the texture there where the light's shining on it. Now the black thermoplastic is very shiny naturally so at this point I'm covering it with a layer of matte black gesso so that it can take other paints and colors more easily and also just to cover up that shiny surface. At this point, I'm going to dry brush it in a matte white color, and this will make the texture that I put into it pop out, and it'll really start looking like an old gray tree branch.
pass dry brushing didn't get quite as much contrast as I wanted, so I added a second coat in a pearl white just to make it a little more shiny. If you're not familiar with the dry brushing technique, it's what it sounds like. You put very little paint on the brush um, just so that you're getting an extremely thin, almost dry layer onto your project. Now I'm adding a layer of glitter onto the whole thing. Uh, I'm a big fan of the movie Legend by Ridley Scott from the 80s, and I wanted this wand to look like it came from the set of that movie where everything was sort of covered in a cobwebby looking kind of layer of glitter. Also, it's obviously a bit Game of Thrones inspired too, thus the name The Night King. And lastly, I finished up with a layer of water-based acrylic varnish just to protect all the other layers and make it even a little bit more shiny. And here's this project finished. And here's my cat pickles being adorable, which is her job. Thank you for watching.